Man, oh man, Jamie Foxx. I don't know, even know where to begin with this because this feels like I feel a part of this journey in many ways. Obviously, you guys know I am producing The Shot in the Dark. I have been producing it uh, off of a Daily Wire platform. Now it's on the Daily Wire platform. I am, I, I don't know if this needs to be deemed a passion, but I'm extremely passionate about bodily autonomy. And it was very weird for me when conservatives and liberals alike were suddenly in lockstep. Uh, encouraging people to get an experimental vaccine. It just seemed very strange to me. And then people like me who were sensible and said, I'm not going to, they, it was like a patriotic call. They tried to frame it like a patriotic call. Do your part, roll up your sleeve and get this shot. It, it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. You should never, ever, ever put something in body in your body that you are uncomfortable with because you are under duress. If it is because of a job, leave the job. It's that simple. You only have your own health, right? You're not going to get your health back if it deteriorates, if you get some lifelong illness. So it's interesting to me that money compelled people to do things that they were uncomfortable with. I have people in my family, in my immediate family, that were injured from this vaccine severely, severely. will never have the same quality of life ever again, despite me pleading with them not to get this vaccine uh, and to wait for it. And obviously, by the way, and speaking of topics that we weren't allowed to talk about on YouTube, I remember the peer pressure campaign for all YouTubers to remain mum because they decided that you were not allowed to at all say anything but to encourage people to roll up their sleeves and to get this vaccine. And many people suffered the consequences. Well, we can't say they suffered the consequences per se because it's all hearsay. But remarkably, a bunch of young, healthy people in Hollywood started experiencing things like face paralysis and brain clots. Before we get to Jamie Foxx, let me remind you, Justin Bieber, whose face just magically went paralyzed, and he was on tour, which would signal to me that he definitively got the COVID-19 shot. But again, that is sheer speculation. We can also just assume that a healthy young kid in his 20s just randomly gets a paralyzed face. Take a listen. This syndrome called... Uh... Um, Ramsey Hunt syndrome, and it is from this virus that um, attacks the nerve in my ear and my facial nerves and has caused my face to have paralysis. As you can see, this eye is not blinking. Well, lightning struck twice in the Bieber household because his wife was then also impacted with a droopy face and a blood clot in her brain. Take a listen. When I went to respond, I couldn't speak. The right side of my face started drooping. I couldn't get a sentence out. Everything was coming out like, not even jumbled, just like couldn't get any of the words out. So obviously immediately I thought I was having a stroke, like a full blown stroke. Um, he thought I was having a stroke. So right away he asked for somebody to please call 911 and get a doctor. Are we normalizing that? Are we normalizing people that are in their 20s having, thinking that they're having strokes, having face paralysis? Is that normal now? We're we doing that as well as young kids having heart attacks. Are we just going to pretend that we didn't do anything medically <laughs> throughout COVID that could be contributing to that. Okay, cool. I want to play by YouTube's rules. It, they just all are randomly having this stuff happen to them. Of course, that's just two examples. Well, Jamie Foxx was admitted to the hospital because of a medical complication. That's all the public was told on Thursday, April 11th. And we were never given any specific details on his current health status. He had been replaced in a movie that he was working on. There's been a lot of speculation like I said, it was n n no way to say that this happened or it didn't happen. It was pure speculation uh, surrounding various things people were saying that he was going through. And his daughter initially spoke out and said that he's out of the hospital. Rumors are running wild. The media is running wild. He was playing pickleball yesterday. Thank you, everybody, for your prayers and support. We're excited to announce something else in the next week or two. Well, she made that statement. And then I would say about a week later, a journalist by the name of A.J. Benza claimed that he spoke to a source that was extremely close to Fox. 
And here is what he heard about the situation. Take a listen. I had somebody in the room who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on, he was pressured to get it. What I found out from the man in the room was that uh, the blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially paralyzed and blind. So I will make an assessment based on what is not being said. His family has spoken to the media. This obviously went viral. Everybody is reporting on this on the left and the right, and the family has declined to comment thus far. Now, I would say, just using common sense, that if this was my family and a person went out and told a viral lie that I suffered a blood clot in my brain because of the COVID-19 vaccine, we would immediately issue a statement. We would condemn the journalist and my family would call them a liar and say that it's just none of your business. But they seem remarkably hush hush about this and they are choosing to say nothing. So um, their silence seems as though they are suggesting that there is some veracity to this claim. We are all holding our breath. Uh, to see whether or not Jamie Foxx speaks out, especially because he's saying that he did not want to do this. This is what they were doing. They were demanding that in order for people to make money and to have a livelihood in the same way that with children and vaccines, they say, if you want your child to go to school, even if you're uncomfortable with your child getting X amount of shots in one go, hence my series, A Shot in the Dark, they say you have to do it, right? So you're not free to make these decisions. No, you are making these decisions under duress. And it is so important for people to remember that you only have one body, right? You cannot magically get your health back. And I am genuinely hoping, I I love Jamie Foxx, I love his work. I am hoping that he makes a full recovery as Haley Bieber has done and as Justin Bieber has done. Um, And if he doesn't, I then will instead pray and hope that he gets the courage to tell the truth because there will be an insurmountable amount of pressure with someone with that much influence to stay hush, to say mom about what happened to him. And if he does speak out about what happened to him, he will also face an immediate backlash. People will call him a liar. This is what happens when you are vax injured. I was vax injured from the Gardasil vaccine. I spoke about that and people pretended like many other people that that suffered consequences from having that vaccine that you're a liar that there's no way we can know that it's related to this. Um, Very scary times that we're living in when people can't even talk about what they have experienced, especially when it's something that is so horrific and that experience is only taking place because they are complying with peer pressure. So again, we do not know yet from anybody in his family that there's any veracity to the claims that are being made by AJ Benza, but what we can say is that they have not disputed the claims. If you like this video, you will like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking the link in the description.